best jeans in the world, right? You don't ever want to throw them away. So what am I going to do with this big hole in my knee? I'm going to put a furry patch on it. It escalates into like this big furry vest, these big floppy ears. And since my name is Peter Rabbit, it was so easy. Like fall the white rabbit, everything. It was just, it all fell together. Nine different people worked on this costume over the course of a month to get it to this point. Actually, my first wimp was this location four years ago, exact same location. And I love the fact that it's back here because this is an awesome venue for web. Like, I love this whole thing. And the fact that they have all the stages outdoor instead of inside the lodge is awesome because that's really like, for me, where dance music needs to go. Keep it outdoors. Keep it outdoors because you get the nature and the technology together. It's awesome. Get up, get up, get up. Love it. I love Wemp. My name is Jimmy Light Show. Woohoo! And I can't wait for tonight. Woohoo! It's, it's, it's in the soul. It's passionate. I'm passionate. It's in my soul. It's in my life. You know what I mean? I'm going to be here until I'm 100, you know, heaven forbid, you know. The cyber gothic look. It's a cyber gothic look. I don't know. It's fun. Huh? I'm bringing it back, of course. Bring it back. This is my first WEM from New Hampshire. All the way here. <laughs> from New York City. Tone down tonight. I'm a club kid. I made it. It's furry. See? My tail. <laughs> Well, there's a big misperception with WEMP. Like, a lot of people just assume that it's all, you know, a weekend to get hammered or stoned or whatnot, but it's still the mentality of music first, right? Music, friends, good times, positive vibes. And I guess that, that's why we're back out in the open. I guess they want to, like, kind of revamp that and bring it back into the, the main stage and the main light instead of just drugs and alcohol. Well, it's, for exposure-wise, the WEMP is a great experience for anybody who's not already internationally set, you know? So, for me, like, I'm from Toronto, coming out here is just, I get the chance to play in front of people that would never ever get the chance to hear me play any other time, so it's pretty special like that. Who am I here to see? Uh, what's his name? Captain what? <laughs> Captain J. Yeah. DJ Capital J signing off for WEMP 2006, for show. Okay. Now we roll. We've done WEMP uh, about five, six years now. Why do you want Because uh, they put me on the fly without asking me. <laughs> it's the only uh, uh, festival that goes on in, in, in Toronto, Ontario, and all that stuff, you know. I mean, I wish Toronto and Ontario had more festivals like this, like big festivals with international DJs and such a, you know, a, a, a big event like this. <laughs> And, and um, you know, like in UK, they have every you know type festivals like this every single uh, uh, weekend, uh, uh, all through the summer and stuff. And uh, that's what we need around here. I was a kid. I had two older brothers, and my oldest brother was a rapper. And he used to do production and rap and all that stuff. And uh, my other, my second brother was like dancer, break dancer, all that stuff. And and uh, my oldest brother used to have a DJ, but this guy kept flaking out on him all the time, you know, missing out on every show and all that stuff. So my brother started training me as a scratch DJ, to scratch the shows and stuff like that. So like by the age of 13, 14 years old, I was like the trained scratch DJ, uh, doing hip hop shows, concerts and all stuff like that. And uh, my first concert in uh, uh, um, 88, I think it was like 89 or something, way back, I opened up for Michi Me and Maestro Fresh West, you know, way back, <laughs> back in the days, like right when Maestro first came out with the Le Le Backbone Slide, you know? And right from then, I went from, uh, just doing scratch shows to doing battling. And from battling, I went into playing clubs. Like by 15, 16 years old, I was playing uh, uh, clubs and stuff like that. And, uh, mainly like hip hop and, and, and reggae. And then, but I was always into like the, the UK sound, you know, like house and breakbeat, hardcore, all that stuff. And I went through like the whole evolution of jungle, drum and bass, when it was called like breakbeat, hardcore back in like 90, 91, 92, 93. So I evolved with, uh, as the music evolved with it. And I always hung on to it. And then like, once I finally had enough of like the whole hip hop thing, I, I came to Toronto. I was already doing the drum based stuff, but as soon as I came to Toronto, and Toronto saw me, that's when things blew up. And I started traveling all over the world right from after that. <laughs> <laughs>